Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is SkyTrack 13 meteorologist Sean Ash, and as anticipated here, a very busy afternoon already unfolding, and we've got a long way to go. Uh, you probably have heard your, you probably got the alert on your smartphone, uh, many of you at least, uh, for the flash flood warnings. This is from one of our photographers uh, up in Lebanon, East Street. Now, some of this definitely due to heavy rain. Some of it could just be poor drainage, but uh, you know, some of these rain rates were in the one to two inch per hour zone. So we do have multiple flash flood warnings, includes Indianapolis, Noblesville, Newcastle, Crawfordsville, Lafayette. Most of these running between about 7 and 8 p.m. And uh, the entire region under a flash flood watch. So we definitely will see some additional heavy rain. I'm going to show you the radar sequence here. Uh, mind you, this time of taping, uh, around 2.30, okay? A uh, real heavy band right now is setting up on east central Indiana and we've got additional uh, rain that we're anticipating here. Uh, so a long, long way to go. I want to want to show you the radar rainfall estimates real quickly and I'm going to put this on just a three hour. Uh, this is for 12. I'm going to put it on three for the last three hours and radar indicating some locations in a two to three inch per you know well about an inch two per hour basically so uh, some very very heavy rain so let's expand our map uh, kind of a complex setup we're likely going to see a little more sunshine across far southern Indiana we've got one uh, area of low pressure from last night kind of spinning around Champaign we've got another surface low that's developing over central and southern Missouri and that one will become the dominant low as it intensifies here and uh, plenty of wind shear in the atmosphere instability is a little questionable but there may be enough jet stream energy to uh, overcome any lacking dynamics uh, latest severe weather risk we yesterday we talked south of I-70 and that's still in play I want you to be weather aware down there because we cannot rule out tornadoes uh, and certainly damaging wind here uh, and if you get into some sunshine that's going to really up the ante here's the latest uh, run of future track 13 as we go through the evening we are anticipating additional thunderstorms there may be a lull in the real real heavy downpour action before we get back into it now one thing I don't like to see on this particular high-res run these little lone cells south of 70 that will be a little, if, if it indeed takes place, those are the ones we have to look for that would have some tornado potential. Uh, if they do develop, they would likely congeal very quickly into more of a you know, complex, heavy rain, lightning wind threat. And then I think by about 10 or 11 o'clock, the threat for severe weather will diminish. The threat for flooding will not. Okay, And uh, we still believe that uh, Saturday morning we're still caught up into some rain and uh, that's how we're going to start the weekend here. Breezy, uh, I hate to use the term blustery in uh, June, <laughs> but we are, we're we're going to be under this cloud deck for the better part of tomorrow. We may only be in the 60s for highs on Saturday, so I, you know, depending on your outlook it may not be the world's most pleasant day tomorrow and I would certainly highly recommend a planned B indoor option if you've got outdoor events. Okay, later in the day, the sh it becomes more hit and miss showers. Sunday still looks really nice, and I think we'll uh, have a chance of rain towards sunset Sunday, and then we are back to scattered storms a chance every single day next week. So Sunday definitely is the day if you want to get out and cut the grass. So I'm in for Angela again this evening, and we will be on top of the weather situation. Check us out online. We're going to be updating our, our blog there. You, and, of course, if you have our news app, you have access to Live Doppler 13 Radar, even on the, the weather app as well. Uh, download that. You'll get the warnings and watches, um, and we'll post them as needed. Stay weather aware, my friends.